I'm Rory Connell from Advanced Accessory Concepts, and today we're going to talk about our 2019 Ford Ranger. We started this project uh, in the middle of 2019 uh, for the SEMA show and we were very fortunate as a company to be selected by Ford to be a part of their builder program. So this vehicle we actually debuted at the SEMA show last year in the Ford booth. Um, really happy with it uh, and the platform itself to kind of enter the mid-truck market and for us as a company to develop products for that truck and that market. So the first thing people notice obviously is we've replaced the bed. Uh, with what's called a canopy traditionally in the overland world uh, in Australia, uh, Europe. So this is made by AFN 4x4, which we're actually the distributor for here in North America. This is an all aluminum canopy. Uh, from here up is universal, from here down changes per vehicle. So this one we've got set up for a camping setup and I've got it dry right now. Um, We've got all of our racks that, you know, when we're going out and using it as a family, I'm putting my tools, recovery gear. Uh, in here I can fit my 100 watt foldable solar panel, uh, my front runner chairs, a couple of wolf pack boxes. Down here's all of our utensils. Um, this comes out, we've got a cutting board that goes on here. And then we've got the, the ARB classic fridge. Um, but this is great because we can pull stuff in and out and use it for whatever you know, we're doing, whether we're going to the desert, the water, you know, stuff, life jackets in there, and everything's easily accessible. Uh, lighting comes, we use some rigid rock lights up here, the A-series rock lights, so those work well. And my favorite detail of this side is the gas filler right here. Uh, and then we've got a little more storage down below. This side I kind of just use for chamois, reuse all of our grocery bags for trash bags. And then we've also got the front runner water tank with the water spout that I need to hook up. I need to hook this up on the outside of the vehicle. I just haven't gotten there yet. As far as the canopy goes, the weight is very similar to the stock uh, bed of the truck. Um, you know, you, you get, you win some, you lose some. So there's, there's things you lose. You know, I can't haul a sheet of plywood, but on a midsize truck, you know, we're not really doing those things. So. For what it's designed for as a purpose-built vehicle, it's a great setup and it's it's really fun. And as we grow as a family and a company using the vehicle, um, we learn you know how to adapt it and suit it to other people's needs. Contractors come up to us. Uh, you know, you've got brush control guys. Uh, we've got ranchers that look at this stuff and you know how can they use this? Farriers, guys like that that are doing horseshoeing. Um, the bumpers, once again, all come from AFN 4x4 out of Portugal. This bumper is designed to fit on the stock bed of a Ranger. So in this application, we can add the step because the rear uh, part of the bed has that cut. Uh, but then we've got bedside protection if you've got a stock bed on your vehicle. And then back here, people are like, oh, is that a water tank? Um, that would be awesome, but it's not a water tank. Uh, this is uh, a mount for a swing away. So you've got your spare tire and jerry can holder on your stock bed. Here we've got our jerry can and fuel can holder and our spare tire mounted here, so we don't need to do those things. And then we've got all the cutouts. For your stock sensors, uh, you know, the European look is much different than what you see in America. Um, just by the, the way they use the recovery points and jack points, it's all built in. Um, one thing that's kind of cool, we got a couple scratches here, is 
There's three little set screws in there for when you put a hitch in. We do pull a little X Venture trailer, uh, and when you put the hitch in, it's just snug. You, no movement, no play. To the passenger side, this is your bulk cargo area, um, per se. We've added all this stuff. None of this stuff comes with it. This is all additional stuff. This was built by our neighbor in our complex, uh, Overland Storage Systems. Um, so we can throw clothes in here. I've got displays and stuff for work. I've got little mounts where I can mount our trigger controller displays. Uh, for power, it's a super easy, super simple setup. Um, and you can overcomplicate your electrical system. This is trying to make it as simple as possible, standalone from the vehicle battery. Uh, we've got the Red Arc BCDC. You know, we pull power right off the alternator and then everything's fed through a trigger six shooter. So that's where we control all of our exterior lights and that all charges a Optima yellow top that's mounted in a Artec Industries battery holder. So we've got the Optima yellow top. So this thing's cool. It'll pull right off the alternator and charge it when you're running, moving. And then we've also got the solar input. So we just got the solar panel. And we've got wires that are fed down through here and just plug the solar panel in. But it's all standalone. Uh, and that runs all of our auxiliary stuff from the fridge to the, the lighting, um, the compressor. Everything runs off of that and it's standalone. It doesn't even touch. The, the master battery system. So no solenoid, none of that stuff needed. Um, super simple, super clean, uh, love it. The Red Arc stuff's high quality. And these things, great. Um, we put anything from archery stuff, my son's archery targets up here, sleeping bags, a lot of soft goods. We don't try to put the hard stuff on this side so it doesn't roll out and dent this. And then back here, we've got the um, ARB twin mounted. So rear suspension, drivetrain, axle, there's actually a lot going on. Um, we've got the Ford Performance diff cover uh, on there, and then we've got a Hellwig sway bar. We, we lost the front sway bar uh, with the, the suspension that we added up front, so in the rear, since we added all this weight, we put on the Hellwig sway bar. Hellwig's a phenomenal product made in America. They've been around almost 75 years. And then we've also got airlift performance, well, airlift bags. So airlift uh, their bags on their compressor, and the compressor auto, you know, pressurizes so if it, if it loses air it'll pump up and turn on on its own you don't have to play with switches any of that and then we've got the Ford Performance black chrome dual exhaust back here so and that's all dampened or softened up by some Icon 2.5 CDC uh, rear shocks so fully adjustable rear shocks made by Icon we love Icon because they started in Corona uh, and we're from Corona so a local brand we try to support people you know I've known those guys forever since I worked at the hot rod shop next door. So it's cool to, to be able to support their brand and run their products on our vehicles. Wheels and tires, we are running the Icon Vector 6 wheel. Uh, it's in a RAL color, which is a, a Pantone style of color or color chart, uh, a RAL gray green. Um, we used Axo Nobel paint for the canopy and the wheels and the bumpers. Uh, Axo Nobel is a great brand that we've been working with forever. That was all done at LGE CTS Motorsports. So we've got the Vector 6s with the Falcon Wild Peak MT tires. Um, Falcon, another local brand out of Southern California in uh, Rancho Cucamonga, Ontario area. They've um, really supported the Overland market uh, with the really good products. Quiet tire, uh, not much louder than stock. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know if it really affects fuel economy, but, but what doesn't here? So there's... <laughs> It's a great tire, um, haven't had any problems. Uh, so we run all Falcons. Uh, on the side of the vehicle, we've got the AFN frame mounted running board sliders, whatever you want to call them, um, with what they call, some people call a five bar. I hear the old heads call it the five bar. The old five bar or um, the Australians and the Europeans call it checker plate for what I hear. Um, but that's just a, um, a different form of diamond plate, I guess. So with the diamond plate top, uh, they're custom painted. Typically, they're going to come in black. Uh, graphics, all done by our friend Josh Daly over at Daily Visual. Josh and I have been working together uh, for over 15 years, so he's wrapped all of my vehicles. Uh, he's been in the industry forever. Up front uh, is where things get fun. Um, Suspension-wise, we've got you know a lot going on up here. We've got the 
Icon billet upper control arms with the delta joints. So not only are these beautiful, but they work extremely well with the delta joints. Uh, and then we've got, I don't know if this kit's actually available yet. I'm sure it will eventually be. Um, this is their stage 50,000 kit. I have no clue what stage it would be, but it's got their secondary shock kit. Um, this thing is a, you know, I tell people it's, it's like a, <laughs> a UTV, or so, I don't know, it's hard to describe it. I wanna say dirt Cadillac, but it's a Ford. Uh, it, this, this thing's like riding a cloud uh, in the sand, what we're doing, you know, Mojave, um, the desert, high desert, all the stuff that we're doing. You know, we're not taking this thing in the rocks unless we really have to, but uh, it does phenomenal. I've never had a vehicle you're able to push so hard. Um, then we're running Bushwhacker OEM style flares. We repainted these once again with Axo Nobel paint. Um, Bushwhacker is a phenomenal product. It's, they're on the market forever. Um, there's very few brands that have that prominence in a category like them. In uh, the fender flare category, they definitely got it. Uh, as far as ditch lights go, these are on some sweet stainless uh, brackets made by SDHQ. Um, Super Duty headquarters out of Gilbert, Arizona. Another cool brand, uh, retail shop that manufactures some of their own goods. They do a lot of really cool stuff for Fords. So where they really started Super Duty headquarters. Um, but they do Toyota stuff. Check them out. They've got, you know, home brew, uh, really good products by enthusiasts, for enthusiasts. Uh, up front, we've got the AFN bumper. Um, this is really a good example of how AFN products for us stand out. Um, people ask what makes it different. All these products are designed in CAD, um, cut, welded, and finished all through an automated process. You know, robots basically do everything. The parts are really only touched by hands when we're putting parts and fixtures and clamping them down. But if you check out uh, some of the videos on our website, you can see how these things are made, uh, welded by robots. This is the second article for the Ford Ranger. So this is literally the second one they made for the, the US version. But you see, you've got these nice contours. You've got multiple angel angles, great finishing. You don't see many brands out there that have injection molded you know, fog light buckets with their own LED lights um, just for their own product. You know, that's a huge investment in that. Uh, everything you're going to see comes with an aluminum skid plate. We've got these removable guards. Uh, back behind here, we've got a worn Xenon 12S Platinum, which is a bad mamma jamma. That is the sweetest winch I've ever had. Like, it's all remote control. It, it does everything for you. I don't even have to, there's no clutch lever. It's the greatest, it's, I have nothing but good things to say. Um, and then we've got the worn Sidewinder shackle and their epic Fairlead on here with more of the rigid uh, 360 lights up top. I hope you enjoy our version of the 5th gen Ford Ranger. Uh, it's been a fun project, uh, really enjoying taking this truck out, beating on it. Uh, you can check out all of our products, either triggercontroller.com, that's our wireless accessory controllers, or aacbrands.com. You can find all the AFN bumpers or afnusa.com. I'm gonna let it